Flop House Chatter Podcast. For the fans, by the fans. For the love of the game. Good evening, baseball fans. Welcome to Chop House Chatter. I'm Jackson. And I'm Thomas. Welcome, welcome. Jackson, you ready for this season? I, I, I am ready. You know, living up in Pennsylvania, I am ready. I, I need the Braves to take this series in Philadelphia so they can just be quiet. They'll, they week. still won't be quiet, Jackson. Let's know, be but... real. We have dealt with Philly fans our entire lives. Me being a Braves fan, you being a Braves fan behind enemy territory, you know they'll never right. stop. No, they won't. But, you know... It, you know, maybe a nice if the boys could come out 10 0 opening day, that, that would make make my Thursday. So and they will come out with the same argument. Regular season doesn't matter. You'll choke in the postseason. I'm I'm just putting my blinders on. I'm with them. Regular season doesn't matter at all. They can have the division as far as I can. Yeah, uh, I mean, but you know, if you're gonna beat your rival in the postseason, you gotta finish the job. That's all I'm gonna say. Yep, yep. All right, so moving on, we got something fun today. We are doing a MLB MVP draft between me and Jackson. So we're going to have a little bit of a twist with this. We're going to pick three of the players across all of Major League Baseball, but one caveat, one of our picks has to be a player that has yet to receive any MVP votes. So that's going to be Little, little, little bit of a twist there, whether it be a rookie we pick or whether it be a little dark horse, somebody that is just sliding under the radar. You ready for this, Jackson? I am. I am. So I'm going to give you the honors. You have first overall pick. What you going you know, to do with it? I, I know we were going to have a couple more people on, so I, I had a more expansive list, and I didn't even think I'd get the first pick. So <laughs> I think I'm just going to pick Ronald Acuna Jr. I'm just going to lock it in. Right, like right there, off the yeah. get-go, Ronald Acuna Jr. Turn the brain off. Don't overthink it. Don't <laughs> overthink it. So Acuna is gone. Ah, see, I, I, I was a little concerned with this caveat I threw in there. I didn't know if I wanted to go with a obvious pick like Acuna just to make sure I had someone that had realistic chances of winning this MVP, or if I wanted to go ahead and knock out one of the people that has a realistic chance that has not gotten a vote yet. So yeah. I think I might go that route first. I'm going to throw my first pick to Ellie De La Cruz. Ooh. Ellie has not received anything, but Ellie was only, he just came up last year and he came up with a big splash, right? Yeah. I, I mean, hopefully he can recapture what he had when he first came up. I know he kind of had a, a little bit of a slide at the end there, but he was a rookie. So I, I, mean, I like yeah, that. He has to learn how to adjust. Yeah, he has to learn how to adjust. I, I think the Reds are going to be competitive this year, so I like the pick. I like the pick. And at least it's in the Central. It's not like the Central's ever competitive. No, dude, you can just farm stats off all the mediocre teams. It's great. Uh, what other division can you win 85 games and still have a chance to get into the division title? The AL Central. <laughs> You're right, both Central League. <laughs> uh, so I'm Kuyu's so- off the board, Ellie's day, uh, off the board. Who you got next? Uh, I think for my second pick, I'm going to go with Cabrian Hayes as my one who has not received an MVP vote. So tell me about Brian Hayes. Don't know much Cab- about Cabrian Hayes. He plays third base for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Pittsburgh's going to be pretty good this year. I think they're going to be a lot better than people give them credit for. So Cabrian Hayes won a gold glove last year. Yeah. Uh, he hits the ball hard. I mean, what I was looking at is his second half last year. Let me get that pulled up. I had it right here. So post All Star last year, mm-hmm. he hit 299 with a 335 on base and a 539 slugging. So for an 874 OPS. So if he can kind of hit somewhere in that ballpark, he finished with like four WAR. He could be like a seven, six, seven WAR player from third base. And if he's good on the Pirates and leads the Pirates to a, you know, a division title, yeah, I can see it. So he's going to be my no vote guy, Brian All right. Hayes. All right. Mr. Hayes, welcome to Team Jackson. Oh, goodness. So when I was putting this whole list together of each player that's ever gotten an MVP vote, it made me realize something. And I'm sorry just to cut off on a tangent while I'm literally trying to pick, uh, figure out who I'm going to pick for my second overall. But Christian uh, Yelich, he completely fell off. What happened to that guy? 
Uh, if you remember in 2019, he broke his kneecap in like the last week of the season. So he is said, that like cutting his hair? He just lost all his power, all his, all of his everything then? Uh, he like fouled the ball off his kneecap. I think it's his front. He's left-handed, so I think he fouled it off his front leg. Mm-hmm. So it's where, you know, you drive off of it. Yeah. So he's just now kind of getting his, his power back. But like it, he like split his kneecap clean in half or something like that. It was Got it. it was gnarly. All right, so I used that to buy me some time for my second pick. And if this player can still play with everything that happened recently within the past week, he's gonna have a chance. I'm not gonna say he's gonna win it, but he'll at least get in the top three, I believe. I'm gonna go ahead and go with a Tony for my second overall pick. All right. Shohei, Shohei. Yeah. Uh, that, you could say my... that. You could say that pick is quite the gamble. It, it, I see what you did there. <laughs> that that that's a good one. There. It, it's terrible. I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> we're we're gonna have to do a in completely separate episode just to get your thoughts on that entire situation. Oh, the, the, I talked the... at least for an hour with my dad about that whole thing. It, it's it's crazy. Oh, I haven't even talked to my dad yet. But the more I the more I read about it, the more I'm like, what? What is, what is actually going on? I just want to give Pete Rose a call. Like, what are your thoughts? Yeah. All right. You know, final pick. Who do you have for your third MVP guess? So I know we get, depending on where they finish in the MVP race, we get points still. Yes. So if they yeah. win the MVP, you get eight points. If they get second place, you get five points. If they get third place, you get three points, and if they get any votes at all, you get two. So there's a chance you can still beat me, even though I get one of the MVPs. Yeah, I, I'm going to pick the surest guy to get MVP votes. I'm going to pick Jose Ramirez. All right. So Jose Ramirez has finished third in MVP voting twice, second once, uh, fourth once, and sixth once, and tenth once. So he's finished top 10 MVP voting five times in the last six years. Yeah, true. So, yeah, he he definitely did. It's a pretty pretty safe a pretty safe pick. That is a pretty safe pick. So you going safe. I'm gonna go with the wild card pick here. Somebody that I think is really gonna have a breakout 2024 season, and I'm gonna stay home with this pick. I'm thinking he's gonna be the best player with the A on his hat. I'm going with Michael Harris second. Ooh, I like that pick. Because the way he finished last year, that that run he went on from June through the rest of the season, those were MVP numbers. And I believe he would have gotten a lot more votes if he didn't start off so slow. So I'm going with Michael Harris today. Yeah, and I think they've been trying him out at batting in the sixth hole this year. Yeah. Which will get, which will get him a lot more at-bats when you bat ninth. It's and it will get him get. a lot more uh, RBI opportunities, yeah, yeah. getting those big bats right in front of you, getting on base. Yeah, as much as I like him hitting in front of Acuna, it'll be nice, you know. When Olsen and Riley get on, mm-hmm. and you know, you know, Murph gets on, you'll have, you'll have opportunities to drive people in because he he gets a lot of extra base hits. He's a doubles and triples machine. Yeah, and he's driving the ball. So, I I like, I like his approach. He's he's a lot like a younger, faster Nick Markakis to me. Just a doubles machine out there. Yeah, and it those are important guys to have, especially hitting behind you guys that walk. Yeah, because you know. Money ball's great and all. Get if he gets on base, that's great and all. But you know, I like guys who put the ball in play. Yeah. Harris definitely puts the ball in play. He'll strike out, you know, at like a 20% clip. He doesn't walk. Mm-hmm. But the man with his jets puts the ball in play with runners on. That's what all you can hope for. That's all you can hope for. <laughs> so you got Mr. Acuna, Brian Hayes, and Jose Ramirez. I got Ellie De La Cruz, Otoni, and Michael Harris the second. I think those are six great picks right there. What do you think? I, I think they're great. You know. With with more people, I would feel a lot more confident with my yep. picks because it'd be a little bit more diluted. But uh, you know, one v one, I'm a little scared. Hey, <laughs> it, we we got to make a little bit of a competition between us because we're both Braves fans. We're used to being in the first place, taking the division for seven straight years. We got to start making our own fun somewhere. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, we got we're not we're not rich. We can't gamble. The second gambling joke of the. <laughs> Hey, let I me just see. go magically find access to somebody's bank account and get four point five million dollars. <laughs> oh, jeez, yeah, we'll we'll definitely have to do another podcast and talk about that. And just oh yeah, 
All right, Shoot so this breeze. is coming out on opening day. We're gonna have a good one. We're gonna have, watch a lot of baseball. So hey, let's let's have a good 2024 yeah. season. Yeah, pray pray for a dry day in Philadelphia. We're supposed to be getting some rain this weekend. So hey, blow it all away. Yeah. All right, you know how we always end it. Chop on, chop on. Chop on.